Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer from the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking more at enumerations and we're going to be taking a look at get values. Now, in Visual Basic, there's libraries that you can use um, that are readily available in every single application you make. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to be using the systems namespace and we're going to be using the enum class. So, we'll go ahead and come over to our form1.vb and we'll just go ahead and make this a little bit bigger here so let's just go ahead and move these over we'll move this to the middle just to make it look a little bit better and now we will add two list boxes so we will add uh, let's see where are they list box okay so we're gonna have a list box for the values of the um, of the items in the enumeration sports and then we're gonna have a list box for the names of the items in enumeration sports so we'll go ahead and set the name of this to list enum values and we'll set the name of this one to list enum names now we may not get to names in this tutorial, but we'll just leave it there um, for the next one. So let's go ahead and move this around a bit. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and open our code for this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use system.enum.getValues to get the values of all of the items in um, the sports enumeration. Now you can see our values are 0, 1, and 2. And let's say we don't know what these values are, well we can use get values to do it. So let's just minimize analyze sport here. We'll come up here to button analyze and um, let's go ahead and before before it shows the message box let's go ahead and go and add each uh, each of the values to the list box list values so we'll do this using a for each loop so for each item as integer because our enumeration uses um, integer value types for it and we'll type so for each item as integer in we'll use the system namespace dot enum the enumeration class and then we'll type dot get values. So get values is going to have a single argument. So it's going to be the enum type as system.type. So what we're going to do is we are going to type get type. And if you read the description for this, it says returns a system.type object for the specified type name. So it's just going to get the type of the uh, enumeration that we're using. And for get type, we're going to need um, one parameter for that, which is the object. And the object is pretty simple. It's just sports. Now, um, bear with me here. This might be a little confusing. But um, let's go ahead and come down here. And we'll press Enter so we can fill in the rest of our for each loop. So now what we're going to do is we're going to type list values or let's see list enum values so list enum values dot items dot add and then we'll do item dot to string so we'll just convert that integer to a string so what we did is we took our sports um, enumeration we, d we didn't use my sports because that is an object all by itself we're accessing this enumeration um, directly to the enumeration. So for each item as integer, because enumerations take the uh, data type integer, or we set ours to take the data type integer, you can do whatever you want. So item as integer in, and then we use the system.enum, uh, the system namespace, and the enum class, then we use the function get values. Now for our arguments, we used get type which is going to get the type of sports uh, which is an integer type 
So get type and the argument of that is sports. So it's just going to uh, give us, uh, it's going to say it's integers. So now what we're going to do is we're going to type list in num values that items that add and uh, item dot two string. So it's going to go through this loop for every single value inside of sports. And it's just going to add it to the list. Now let's go ahead and run this and see what happens here. So we'll go ahead and click football here and we'll analyze that sport. And you can see a message box pops up that says your sport is football. And in our list box, it lists all of the values uh, inside of our enumeration sports. So you may not think there is a practical use for this, um, uh, this function right now, get values. But uh, later on when you're programming, you may run into it. Uh, the people who created .NET uh, know what they're doing and they um, obviously people are going to need get values or else they wouldn't put it in there. So um, practice with this a little bit. Um, you probably won't be using it, but it's a good thing to know. And let me correct myself. You probably won't be using it for a while, um, but it, it's a good thing to know. So thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the next tutorial.